Welcome to NCIX Tech Tips. Now to a power user, the ability to remotely access one computer from another is invaluable. So today, we are going to look at a few different options for destroying an entire planet with one laser blast. Sorry, that's the Death Star. We're gonna be looking at a few different options for remotely controlling PCs. And no, you shouldn't use these to remote into your friend's computers and make their wallpaper something terrible. Now that we've put that idea in their heads, of course that's what they're gonna do, keys. There are tons of remote desktop applications out there, but in this episode, we're gonna focus in on three of them. TeamViewer is one of the most popular solutions out there and the NCIX crew uses it a lot. Microsoft's remote desktop connection client, which is built into Windows, and Chrome Remote Desktop is a simple to use Chrome extension. Let's start with Chrome Remote Desktop since it's the most straightforward. This is simply an extension available on Chrome's web store that allows you to remotely access pretty much any device that runs Chrome. It works with Windows, OS X, Linux, Chrome OS, and Android, and apparently an iOS OS app is coming at some point too. To enable this feature in Chrome, you just have to click the extension, download the client, which will ask you to get a set of security pin for your PC, do this on any devices that you want access with your Google account to, and you are set. There's also a remote assistance feature. This allows you to remote into a friend's computer provided they also have the remote desktop extension. What's it like to use? Well, it is noticeably more laggy than other remote desktop applications and it's pretty sparse in the user options department, but it's really easy to set up and use. It has clipboard support so you can copy paste and it runs in your browser. For users who don't need more advanced options, it's a pretty good alternative to some of the more robust options out there. Speaking of more robust, the next solution we're gonna talk about is Microsoft Microsoft's remote desktop connection software. This is built into all versions of Windows XP, Vista, and Windows 7 in terms of the client side. It's not built into Windows 8, but you can download the free app from the Microsoft Store. You can initiate a connection from any of those operating systems, but you can only connect to Enterprise, Ultimate, Business, or Pro versions of Windows. If only I only had to list a couple of those, but they keep changing the naming scheme for Windows. You'll have to allow connections from remote computers in your system settings, and you may have to forward some ports on your router, but all in all, if you are already familiar with port forwarding from your you know, gaming pastimes, then it isn't too complicated. The Windows 8 app in particular is actually very, very straightforward, or I dumbed down depending on how you look at it. And there's also iOS, Android, and Windows phone versions too. Microsoft's solution for remote desktop control is a bit more full featured than Google's. You can set preferences, customize the audio, keyboard, and options for local devices such as printers, set a program to automatically launch when you connect, and choose your connection speed to optimize performance. It's also very smooth from PC to PC with low latency depending on your network. Now, because you do have to jump through some hoops though, it's not the most user friendly thing in the world. So, it's a bit of a trade off there. The third option we're gonna talk about is TeamViewer, a remote access application that is very popular due to its ease of use, robust feature list, and the fact that it's free for personal use. It supports Windows, OS X, Linux, Android, and iOS. And once you make a TeamViewer account, you can add all your PCs to your list of devices and then access them from wherever TeamViewer is installed. It supports remote access from mobile devices, multiple simultaneous remote sessions, meaning you can connect to more than one PC at once, and wake on LAN. So you don't even need to keep your PCs running as long as they support that feature. It has a file transfer feature your clipboard support online meetings so multiple people can connect to one host and optional two-factor authentication. And there's tons more customization options in the program settings. TeamViewer is super easy to set up and use and the NCIX crew actually uses it to access office computers all the time. They all have dual monitors, so the switch monitors feature is great. Latency is very dependent on your network, but in keys tests, it seems somewhere between Chrome Remote Desktop and Windows Remote Connection. All in all, for the excellent price of free for personal use, it's one of the best, if not the best option right now. Now there are other options like Splashtop that excel at low latency and can play sound and video back on lots of different devices, but they're often paid. There's also open solutions like VNC, which is a platform for connecting computers without going through a third party, so you're in complete control, although this is the kind of thing that takes some networking know-how. So what remote access programs do you guys use? Tell us in the comments below, and I guess that's pretty much it for this episode guys thanks for watching like or dislike the video whatever floats your boat and don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos like this from ncix oh, yeah. way to go keys like and dislike or if they like twice does it unlike
I guess you guys should find out.